Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So uh, it's blown a gale out there, all will become apparent shortly. Just about to go out on the bike, but I thought I'd uh, do a quick review and a test of this new microphone, handheld microphone, which I've got, which is a BUB or BUB uh, model MAP68. I got this off Amazonia for about 22 pounds, 30 odd dollars. Now, I'm recording this off the GoPro Hero 4 with just one of those external kind of crappy mics. Uh, the reason being is that I normally record with a lapel mic, a lavalier mic, and it's got these adapters uh, for the GoPro. Uh, but I'm, uh, <coughs> and I also use this lavalier mic when I'm riding on the bike or doing face to camera stuff or using the, the GoPro as well. Uh, and because I've got this connector here, now this Lavalier mic is one of these uh, three pin ones here that goes into a smartphone so I can record on the uh, on the iPhone uh, or with this uh, sorry with this adapter here which changes it to uh, a single pole or dual pole one I don't know uh, whatever it is anyway put that on there and then stick that into the smartphone uh, sorry into the action cam and it records off there the reason why I'm telling you that is because this, there we go, look at that sleek black thing. Um, uh, this is also with a three pin uh, connector that goes directly into a smartphone, right? Uh, it's sleek and black, it's very simple, it comes with this foam uh, cover, which would be okay for wind noise as well. I think you're gonna need a big dead cat on that. You know, one of those big fluffy things uh, just to block out excessive noise. The reviews on this are really good. Uh, I wanted to have it uh, because if I'm out and about, uh, you face the camera on the bike, I'd record with this. If I'm doing my podcast, I record with a Samsung condenser mic. But I wanted to do some interviews later on this year or from now on. Um, going to events and stuff like that so i really didn't want to hold this up i just wanted to have something that looked a little bit better but also sounded good i wanted the wired version uh because i <clears throat> because i thought it'd just be a, a better signal i could rely on the signal a lot better as opposed to a, a remote one i've got an extension lead for it anyway um so that's about three meters that's about three meter cable so that's a long distance anyway Right, so what I'm going to do it is really blowing a girl out there. I'm going to go and record on this on the iPhone into wind, out of wind. Let's see how that goes. And then I'm also going to record into wind, out of wind on the action cam and see how that goes as well. Right, what we'll do, uh, let's go and check it out and uh, see. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me just quickly record in here first of all. And then, uh, then you'll have an idea what it is as well. Right, I'll show you that footage. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain and it goes down a drain. There we go. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain and it goes down a drain. Right, okay, so I'm on the iPhone now and I'm recording here into wind and it is sort of blowing, you know, quite a lot. Let's see how much uh, wind noise comes on this mic. i turn with my back to the wind now and hold it close to my chest and see how that wind is there. Okay, but I think, again, it's going to need a, a dead cat on it, but I think it should be not too bad, especially when it's calm conditions. Right. Right, okay, so I'm outside now, uh, and you can see how windy it is. Uh, there, so I'm now I'm facing directly into wind, and let's see how this works. Uh, I've got a feeling there's going to be, you need a dead cat on this one. Uh, turn away from the wind and see what that's like so pretty much if you're ever in windy conditions whether you've got a dead cat or not um that's that fluffy cover that goes over these things by the way best to turn your back towards the wind hold the mic close to your chest as well to shield it as much as you can right let's see how this works right okay so back on the uh iphone here literally just coming to the shelter in front of my garage um, a little bit of wind swirling around here, but it's certainly out of the main wind and uh, just seeing how this works uh, with well, just a foam cover. Well, uh, what do you think of that? Uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. I reviewed the footage. Uh, yeah, there are little minor uh, wind noises when you're really into wind, but overall I think it's okay. Look, I still think you might need a dead cat over it, you know, for really windy conditions, but overall I think it's not too bad. Especially if you turn your back to the wind uh, and shield it a little bit, just as you do with, or you should do with most mics, I, I think it's absolutely fine. Look, 
you know, wind noise is a curse of all audio recordings. We know that. Uh, but I think this is a good buy. From what I, a quick test I've done of it, you can see it's it does the business. On iPhones, it will records okay. In and out of wind, in and out of shelter, uh, action cams. It's small, it's sleek, it's black. My favourite colour, always looks good. So there you go. Look, that's my review. Uh, I'm going to be using a bike events for football events, interviewing people or just doing face-to-camera stuff, uh, I think it's a, a, a good buy. I don't know why I'm holding the mic like that, because it's not even connected. But there you go. Right, a bit of faker videoing for you. Right, catch you on the next video whenever it is. I'm just about to get out on the bike uh, and uh, try and fight my way in this wind. Uh, check out the website, revelatoralf.com. Go to Patreon and uh, Revelator Alpha and support me there, if you would. All the links in the description are on the website as well. Check out the podcasts and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Right, ta-da.